Let's take a look at drawing automation in Fusion. So drawing creation can now be automated, automatically creating a sheet for every single component in a model, laying out parts lists, automatically breaking long components, applying center lines and center marks, and placing sheet metal and bend IDs. Here you can see our drawing jobs being sent to run locally. And while we wait for that, let's have a look at this component. So components like this that are traditionally modeled in place often end up with drawings that look like this. The components are rotated into the orientation that you see in the model. Well, with drawing automation, we can go and create a new drawing. And through automation, we're actually going to rotate this automatically into the correct orientation for you. So we can see our jobs being created and it's been sent to the job queue. We can see our original job in the background there. This single part will run much faster than the assembly. And we can then open up that job when it's ready and we can see the design. Now, the components rotated around correctly. And while I'm here as the designer, I can go in and add some seed dimensions. And using some of the tools in automation, I can apply automatic dimensions and they'll take the seed dimensions into account. Hitting our tidy up tool, will automatically nest and scale our views for us. And a few tweaks will give you a nice looking finished drawing. While that drawing's been worked on, our main drawing is now available and we can open this up. You'll see we have 24 sheets. In our front sheet, we have an assembly. Next sheet, we have a sub-assembly. And when we go to our first component, you'll see our drawing automation dimension tools come up. For this design, I might only care about overall dimensions, or maybe I'm just drilling holes, so I'd like to have centerline dimensions. Or I could go through and say, well, give me baseline dimensions for this design. Baseline dimensions are applied to the drawing. And we can even go across and change where the origin lies. So the default bottom left, I can change that to the top right. Fusion will apply these changes to the drawing for me. I can also go in and say, well, I'd like to select a datum by choosing manual. I can choose the middle of a part. And my dimensions will update based on that selection. In this instance, we're going to choose bottom left. And we're going to say, OK. Our drawing's updated and hitting tidy up, we'll just re-nest and scale everything so that it fits nicely on the sheet. We can see some additional components that have been drawn for us. This long shaft over here has been broken and I've even got tools to move dimensions from one view to another. 